my dad, and that's my sister acting cool. Hello, this is wonderful mom. This is my beautiful mom. Beautiful mom here. <laughs> this is my mom, that's my yeah, this sister. Is wonderful and next here. to me here, here is my now. sister Laura. Yeah, this is beautiful. that's my looking. baby brother. <laughs> he, he's my brother. He's really shy. There were a lot of us growing up. I came from a family of five kids, and I was smack dab in the middle. My parents worked extremely hard to provide for us. On top of navigating this new world that was America, they never let us feel like we didn't have enough. My childhood was filled with so much love, not without its struggles, of course, just like any family, but I can confidently look back and say that my parents did their best with what they had, and they did a pretty damn good job. Growing up, I often pondered what it would be like to be an adult. No, like seriously, I would get so excited at even the thought of being able to read proficiently in grade school. I wondered about the life I would live, the job I would have, and the love I would find. I had a clear timeline in my head. Married by 28, kids by 29, and settled in my dream home with my dream person by 30. No one prepared me for the wake-up call that was reality and life. And so I turned 28 in February, and it was lit to say the least. <laughs> But let's be real here. I feel more confused about my life than I ever did in the past. I am nowhere close to this internal timeline I put on myself, nor do I care to pressure myself to meet it. Going through so much schooling, grade school, high school, college, you'd think they'd prepare you for this adult stuff, but they don't. We're all just out here wigging it. Turning 28 for me, first meant, holy crap, I'm officially in my late 20s. But more than anything, I have found myself wondering what fulfills me. Because maybe it's not the corporate job that I thought I always wanted and worked so hard for. Maybe it's not the material things that I used to beg for as a little girl. Maybe it's just in the little things. It's the I thought of you text. It's the text me when you get home type of friend. It's the random calls with my sisters who live in completely different states. It's all the catch-ups, the dates, the cry sessions, and the food deliveries from mom and dad. It's in all the little things that help me realize I'm exactly where I need to be. So as much pressure as I put on myself to make more money, get a better job, and a bigger apartment, I know all of these things will come. But instead of focusing on getting more of everything, I want to love on everything that's already present in my life. The family, the friends, the cute little apartment, the loyal and committed partner, this cute little life that I've curated for myself. So cheers to 28. Oh, that's a good thing. What else? How is flying? Yeah. Things like that. I've been happy to see you since a long time. Yeah. It's been a long time since I saw you, and I'm happy to see you today. Oh, you're good. Do you want me to do news? Yeah. Okay. Today's news is Grandpa today is coming over from Vietnam, and all of us are waiting for him, and really bored. <laughs> <laughs> 